Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about the newest ASICS basketball shoe, and this is the Zhao Hoop 16. As some of you already know, for all these years and for some odd reason, ASICS just does not sell basketball shoes here in North America. So if you're in the US or Canada, these guys will be pretty difficult to get. Uh, retail price converted is about 140 to 150 USD before any discount that is. Anyways, this is more of a if you know, you know type of shoe. Same goes with ASICS as a brand in the performance basketball field. They don't make a lot of them, but each model has been a beast. However, this time with the Gel Hoop 16, there is a notable problem from my experience. Hopefully you can learn from the mistake I made with my purchase. Not a deal breaker. A lot to discuss about this shoe, so let's get right into it. Performance wise, I'm gonna jump straight into the issue that I was having with these. Believe it or not, I wasn't having a great time playing on a very dusty court, um, especially compared to my other ASIC shoes, like the Gelbers, Nova Surge, those all had amazing traction, but these guys were pretty inconsistent against us. In other words, I just couldn't be 100% playing in these. Sometimes I'd even worry about slipping because it has happened from time to time and I can guess why that is the case. So when I was deciding on which colorway to get, I mean there really isn't much to choose from and their colorways are usually pretty boring. Classic but boring. I saw this gray colorway being advertised as an extra durable version in terms of the also. Turned out I haven't even got a chance to play in these outdoors yet but the grip indoors already took a hit. They picked up quite a lot of dust. The traction pattern is a safe one, so the type of rubber compound used might have affected its performance. For that reason, I suggest that you just go with one of the regular colorways. Aside from traction on dust, I basically didn't experience anything else negative. Cushion feels nice and responsive on feet. I always compare their Fly Foam to Nike React, and it's basically a better version of React. Well, React can turn out differently on different models, but Fly Foam has been consistently soft uncomfortable. Soft to a point where it's not stiff or clunky, but not too soft so that stability gets affected. Yeah, these guys give you a perfect balance between cushion and comfort. Just a fun ride and great core feel. Materials conform to your movements very well. The leather does get dirty pretty easily, but functionality is top notch. For US size 10, my pair weighs only 355 grams. Like they felt light on feet, but Having measured them on a scale, I can say that these are actually super lightweight. With the fit, I'm usually a US size 10 and a half. They don't make some of the half sizes past size 10. So it's either 10 or 11. A size 10 is my equivalent with ASICS. So if you wear a 10 and a half in Nike, go with the size 10. If you're an 11 and a half in Nike, go with the 11. In other words, true to size or half size down, no need to size up. They are waifu friendly spacious enough in the toe box so nothing to worry about with the fit and if you have extra wide feet they should have 2e and 4e options for these asics new balance these two are the brands that really take care of the folks with wider feet besides these stability is decent comfort in general is up there too so that trash and on dust issue i'll continue to monitor it but as of now i just use that as an excuse for my bad defense. Overall, I would place the Gel Hoop 16 into the A tier. Uh, because of the trash and performance against us, my pair just wasn't good enough to be in S tier. Uh, S tier being the best of the best out there. Everything else is great. And spoiler alert, their other new release is gonna shatter my top 10 list this year. I'm already calling it so good. But let me know your thoughts on the new Gel Hoop down in the comments. A6 Hoop shoes definitely aren't common out there on the court. Are you willing to give these a try? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you very soon on the next one.